a bonus this morning, folks. It's the 1st of February and I'm still here. So that means the vlogs are gonna continue. I'm also, someone asked about whether I'm still running. I am still running, uh, but I have had a couple of weeks off because I get bursitis in the knees and I had a bit of a flare up. That's gone now. First of the month, back out on the track. And some other good news, I also got MIG instructions in English, at least the voltage settings anyway. So we're going to take them into work. I might not play with them today, but yes, at least we've got them. So I'm going to set myself up. I've come to the Idle Valley Nature Reserve and what a beautiful spot it is too. And I'm just going to get a quick 2.5k in before I head into work this morning. Uh, the things I do to get the shot. Right, that is 1.5 miles in the bag. I hate it when it says 1.4. We did 1.5, you son of a bitch. And I walked back to the car. Anyway, let's go to work. Back at the unit, back in the work gear. Time to do some graft on the sink unit. It does look a little bit downhill, doesn't it? You know, even if I hold the camera on a jaunty angle. But the floor runs down, you see, into this drain section there. So everything is on a bit of a slope. Which is good for drainage, I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna get the pipe working, get the heater up on there, and get the drainage pipe down into that little drainage hole there. We have installed. up. We have installed some pipe work. I need two more flexible connectors. Those silver ones there, look, to get up to the taps. And the next part of this task is to install the waste pipe. There we go, kids. Just long enough to tidy up now. That looks all right to me. Da 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 da. Down the drain. I think that's Cushy Lake, folks. That's Cushy Lake pit. So I'm just going to tidy up this little bit of mess that I made. Not too bad, not too bad. And then I've got to go and pick up the kids. Well, that's it. The daily chore. Let's go to school. Come home to goodies. Right, one of them too large for the mailbox. The next one is Amazon. I never buy anything off Amazon. Well, that's odd. So I bought these off eBay. But it's come from Amazon. Plasma cutter electrodes. The next one 
what do we have in here? Aha! So, I got this for the blow-off valve for the compressor. That looks like half inch to me though. And I didn't want half inch. I think it wanted to be three quart three eighths. And then we have another one. Yes, that's half inch. There are the plugs for the other side. It was cheap enough to get five of them as it was for one, so I got five. And that's it folks. I brought the kids back to work with me. And the dog as you can probably hear. So I've got some filter material, I'll show you. This stuff here. It's actually I think for pond filters, but can you see that? Like what woven material. Uh, what I want to do is make a dust filter for the air. So whenever I'm using the table saw, the chop saw, or got the dust extraction on. Because the filter in the Dyson, until I get a shop vac, isn't great, it puts a lot of small particulates in the air and I don't want to be breathing, I don't want to be breathing any of that stuff in. So I've got two old fans, neither of which work. I believe it's due to the capacitors in there, but we'll have a look. And then what I want to do another day, we'll just concentrate on these fans today, is build a box around one of the fans with the filter material behind it and as it draws air through the filter material it leaves the dust particulates in the filter and blows clean air out recirculates it in the shop so that's the plan so I'm gonna take these two fans apart test the capacitors and see if we can't get them spinning up a bit quicker Right, I've got both of these fans plugged in. That's that one on full speed. And this is the other one on full speed. That's not going very fast at all. And this is even slower, as you can see. So I'm going to see if we can't get these supercharged. some merch oh my goodness what the hell is that it's a tap handle yeah yeah I've got a brew dog one at home let's have a look cut that for a tap handle fucking beaver town London da, 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 da. Da, da, da. t-shirts oh good man Big town t-shirt. Don't think I'll fit in that. No, are you gonna give them away? Yeah, we'll get Emma or something in one. Beaver Town. Yeah, but why not Beaver Town? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Do we see tabletops? Are they in van? Yeah. yeah. All right. Got down to 30 quid. 30 quid for 13 of them? Yeah. There's a bit, she had a bit of gum in them and things. I said, what happened to them? She said, her husband, they got them from a pub. They used to have a pub, um, she said where it was. And her husband took the legs off and made another big table from all the legs. Yeah. It's, yeah, 13 of them. Bad boys. They make good picture frames and all them, wouldn't they? Put the beaver town thing in the middle of it and hang it up the wall. Yeah. <clears throat> well, if nothing else, if they need tighten up, I can run belt sander off them. But frankly, I'd just clean them up and put another coat of varnish on. Yeah, I won't take them down to it, Wood. No, I don't need to. 
Well, I've tried to put another capacitor on there, but my capacitors that I've got here, the smallest one I've got is uh, 250 volt. Ah, oh, maybe that's why. It wants a 400 volt, doesn't it? I'll keep looking. whether I'm using the correct capacitors I am pretty certain that this fan is going to be a no-go anyway so we appear to have success I've doubled up the capacitor from the previous fan and added it to this one and when I turn it on that's a heck of a lot faster than it was before heck of a lot faster win some you lose some. I think it's back to the original plan with this one and buying a new fan. What I've actually done and it's my fault I've damaged the windings by hitting the shaft further down so what I should have done was separate the fan body uh, where the windings are, uh, the impeller and the stator but instead I just whacked it on there and tried to hammer it through Unbeknownst to me, there are some little plastic bits inside which I damaged and one of them cut through the windings. If I'd have taken this off, I could have just placed the steel, laminate, steel laminations on there and belted it through, no problem. So I cocked up. Back to the drawing board. trying to make a, well, it's a dust, uh, it's an air filter actually. Right. Oh. Right, so what I've done, I've taken all the fucking gubbins out of one fan, out of the motor, took the stator out of the motor, the capacitors, and fucking wired it up onto this one. Let's put it on high. <laughs> what we want to see is that spin. Oh, who's the fucking smart Alec? Fixed it, so back to plan A again. So not one to be beaten, I've taken the stator out of the one good fan and incorporated it into the other one. You can see we've still got the capacitor set up there and hopefully this now will have these switch buttons instead of the others. I guess I could change them. But yeah, I've, ch I've changed out the windings and dropped the other stator in there. And not want to be defeated, folks. We've only gone and got a running fan. Right, Gemma's now here. So I am gonna have to call it a day and get home with the kids and feed the little blighters, I guess, eh? But yeah, we're in February. And I've really enjoyed doing the vlogs in January, so I think I'm going to continue to do them at the very least until I get fed up. And who knows when that's going to be. The only thing I'm struggling to do is get a time lapse for the start of each video, but I'm sure we'll sort that out. Right, cheers folks, I'll see you tomorrow.